Let's bring in Jenny Horn. Let's talk about uh, one of the big winning factors, growth and ETFs. The king or rather queen, we should say, of uh, growth ETFs, the ARK fund, Jenny Horn. All right, so a Kathy Woods flagship fund, obviously loving this market here the last few days. What are they buying? What are they selling? They're making some interesting calls because they sold a pretty sizable stake in DraftKings. I mean, at around 28, let's call it $29. So it's like $28.98 a share where they closed yesterday. So now with DraftKings setting to close out around $33 a share, it doesn't look like such a great trade. But they did, I mean, we saw DraftKings climb on these really strong third quarter results. They pretty much gave really strong outlook, pretty much an A-plus report from DraftKings. So that's what's leading this nice move to the upside today, but ARK divested a significant portion of their overall stake, selling around 75,000 shares, which is relatively small. It represents about 0.3% of their overall innovation ETF. Transaction was valued at around $2.2 million, again, based on the stock's closing price at around $29. But now we see DraftKings today pacing for its best day in almost two years, pacing to close out this week up around 25.5%, adding to its 193% rally and surging above its 50 and 200-day moving averages. So DraftKings having a really nice day. I guess, you know, when you're looking at these investments from ARK, it's more of a long-term investment. Clearly today, getting burned on this. But their Moderna in investment here looking a little bit wiser because they're they purchased around 83,000 shares of Moderna worth around 5.9 million also based on Moderna's closing price of around $71 on Thursday. Now we are seeing shares surge on the session so this name has also had a really nice week. Not quite the same strength that we have seen out of DraftKings but pacing to close up around eight and a half percent just this week alone and trading around $78 so that is looking a little bit more profitable here. Now, now, they are really betting on the fact that Moderna, despite the fact they have seen continued weakness from the vaccine fallout, is forecasting for this growth resurgence here in 2025. So definitely more of a wait and see story. But what's interesting is I had to look at the bigger picture here. You call this the queen or king of growth engines in terms of ETFs. But yeah. for, since January of 2019, the main exchange traded fund, ARK Innovation, has oh, fallen Jenny. around five. I had to do it. You have Come to on, consider this. Good this though. Friday here. That's so harsh. This is this is <laughs> crazy. It's, okay, it's it's down five percent. You compare that to some of the major indices ETFs. You got, I mean, the the Dow ETF was up fifty two percent over the same period. You got the S and P five hundred ETF up seventy six percent, and the Qs are up one hundred and twenty eight percent. And even worse than that <laughs> is if you add in the sixteen percent loss in purchasing power from inflation over that same period, Dang, it actually puts it down more like twenty one. Please. All right. Don't tweet out this segment because the ARC lovers are going to come after you. The numbers don't lie. Price is king, Oliver. Hey, and I know we're still mired, you know, in the 30 to 50 dollar range for the funds. So I mean, it's obviously been a pretty big disappointment, uh, especially when the market had this massive rally back the past year to within, like you pointed out, you know, like five percent of the all-time high. If you were just in a basic index fund, so. Yeah, they still have a lot of proving to do that their stock picks are going to win out over time. Because that's the other thing, too, is they're supposed to be, like, long-term picks, you know. And, I don't know, we talked to the Moderna CFO this week, and i got to say, it feels like they got a lot of proving to do, too, about what else they're going to make. we got to jump, though, Jenny. Thank you very much.